Minecraft recently announced that they would be removing obfuscation in Java Edition two days ago. We got this snapshot, 25W45A. We actually have gotten the first snapshot that is deobfuscated here. I've actually done this already, so you'll see if I go to Minecraft, if you were to just play the 25W45A snapshot as is, you would only be downloading the obfuscated jar because they've released the deobfuscated one, or I'm sorry, unobfuscated one separately. Once you have your installations and you have actually followed the instructions, you can go to versions, go to the unobfuscated, and you'll have the jar there. And I've already unpacked this jar into its own folder so that we have the unobfuscated files here. I want to show you the differences here between the obfuscated release, the unobfuscated code of the exact same version, and then this is what we'd kind of be typically doing in a fabric environment. This is what we would see and then versus a forge environment as well. So let's go to entity of each. So you might be wondering, why is this CGI GSH? Well, this is obfuscated code. And if you go to the mappings.tiny file and search for specific class names, you will actually be able to find the specific name that it is being obfuscated into. So back in 2018 or 2019, I believe Minecraft did officially start releasing their mappings. Classes, fields, methods. We got all those officially mapped. What we didn't get is parameters. So what you'll see here, uh, this is a bad example, but this one, if we go down, even in this forage one, we'll scroll down. Even though we have the official mappings, this is still obfuscated in forage at least. These parameter names are automatically generated. These are called surge mappings, I believe. Uh, it's what forage uses during runtime. So this is kind of irrelevant to us. We don't like to see this though. We don't want to be seeing these. We would rather see something like GUI graphics. Uh, so in Fabric at least, the Fabric environment, some scoped variables are still obfuscated. A lot of this code is still obfuscated here. But we see if we go down to the rendering, the actual parameter names, most of these are actually still obfuscated as far as if it doesn't know what it is. But otherwise, it will just match the type of class that it is for that parameter. So if we go to GSH and go all the way down, same render background, but this is the fully obfuscated code here. And then if we go down to the bottom of the unobfuscated code, we actually see that we're getting the original names. Final float A here. So A is partial tick. I know, I know that much. You see, we have the unobfuscated code. This is what we'll be basically developing with going forward is this unobfuscated code, which is very beautiful to see. We have all of these internal names, whereas even here in Fabric and Forge, these were not remapped properly. So I, I just wanted to give you guys a brief overview of what you'll actually be seeing going forward in Minecraft mod development, because even though we did have officially official mappings, even though we did have official mappings, they were not always perfect. The parameter names were always kind of screwy. We had some things that were good. Uh, parchment mappings came in, gave us more parameter names, but they didn't always give us, well, obviously they didn't have any internal uh, parameter names like this, so we were still missing that. But now this is like the full package here. We have as close to the raw source code as it can really get. We have the decompiled of what Mojang has developed. So uh, this is absolutely beautiful in my opinion. We have everything. Instead of just this being player or being some weird name, we know that, well, this is the owner of the book edit screen, which there will only ever be one owner of any screen. That's pretty straightforward, but it is still good to know. We have all of these, like this item stack is, we should be expecting a book here. This, instead of it just saying item stack as a raw string, something like that, all these names, so much more easily readable in this format compared to obviously, originally the uh, loaders would get this obfuscated code and then they would have to transform it with these mappings in order to turn it into something that we could kind of piece together a lot easier. But now this is like the, the full package here. We know exactly what's going on pretty much every step of the way. There's still some weird things here, but this is from comp. But this is like a side effect of compiling. So you will see some weird things with generics. That's what's going on here. This is a raw generic of stream. This is a raw stream, which takes a type parameter. If you go here, it takes a type parameter, but we're just using the raw instance and dealing with generics. Uh, I'm almost 100% positive this is a compiler thing. Either way, beautiful going forward. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. We love to see it.